Welcome to the Rusted Garden. Today I want to talk to you about how you use aspirin in your garden to help your tomato plants manage diseases. I've done a couple videos on aspirin and in this video I just want to introduce it for 2014 for new viewers and also answer some of the questions I've gotten along the way. So to use aspirin you want to use one tablet, a 325 milligram tablet. Make sure it doesn't have the coating on it. That coating um, will actually slow how the the aspirin dissolves in, in your, your container, um, in your sprayer, but more importantly, that coating can uh, clog up your container. So make sure you don't have the coating on the tablet. So it's one tablet, 325 milligrams, and one gallon, and that's the minimum dose. You could use more if you want, but minimum dose is one tablet and one gallon of water. So what does aspirin do? When your tomato is naturally attacked by a disease or by pests, it has a hormone it releases that that initiates the systemic acquired resistance response or the SAR response. Well, what you're doing is you're mimicking the hormone by spraying the tomato plant with the salicylic acid or the aspirin. The aspirin, the salicylic acid, makes the tomato think that the hormone has been released. So you're tricking it really into believing that it's being attacked, uh, tricking it into thinking a hormone was released, and what it does is it beefs up its defenses as if it's really being attacked by disease or pest. So the tomato is already, you're causing the tomato to initiate that SAR response so that it basically toughens up and it's fighting off a disease that it's not quite there yet. Um, and why do you do that? Well, you do that because if, say, leaf spot hits your tomato or early blight hits your tomato, once it's on there, it establishes itself pretty quickly. Then the the tomato would naturally start the hormone response and it can take time before it's really fighting off the disease. You're starting your tomatoes off thinking that it's being attacked almost from the get-go so it's stronger, it's ready to fight off diseases and these diseases will have a harder time establishing themselves on your plants. So when do you spray? I get a lot of questions about when do you spray. I also get a lot of questions on how much aspirin you use. The truth is is you just need one tablet in 325, one tablet 325 milligrams in a gallon of water. You could put in two tablets if you want. You could put in one tablet in a quart sprayer. Some people bury the tablet in the planting hole when they plant the tomato. You can't really harm your tomato by giving it too much aspirin or doing it at the wrong time. But you just need enough in there so that when you spray it, it thinks the hormone is being released and it starts that SAR response I talked about. When do I do mine? I do mine about two weeks before the disease arrives. I know when they start. So you definitely want to start this before the disease lands on your tomato plant. So about two weeks early. Also, um, if you want a guideline, by the time it's 18 inches, you want to, want to start this process. Again, some people start it in the planting hole, they throw an aspirin in, they start it right away. That's okay too, but you really want to make sure you start it two weeks before the diseases arrive or when the tomato is 18 inches tall. If you don't really start it, you know, at those times, it might be a little bit too late for the aspirin to really work. Some of the questions that I've gotten were, is there research on this? Yes, and if you search aspirin and tomatoes online, you're going to find a lot of good research that really supports the uh, salicylic acid initiating that uh, hormone response that cause, causes the, the, the systemic um, acquired resistance response, or the SARS response, sorry about that. And there's lots of evidence, so it works on tomatoes, but there's no evidence that it works on other plants. So don't go spraying your zucchinis, your squash, your peppers, and stuff like this. This is specifically designed for your tomato plant. Um, and again, there's no research to show it works on other vegetables. So how do you use it? One gallon sprayer, at least one tablet, 325 milligrams, and all you do is spray the leaves of your plant. There's nothing tricky, there's no special way. Just soak it down, soak down all the tomatoes, and again, make sure you start this before the diseases really come to your area. This doesn't cure disease. Like if I spray this, it doesn't cure leaf spot. It doesn't cure early blight. What it does is it makes it harder for those diseases to really establish on your plant. So this is really a preventative method for managing disease in your garden. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my blog at www.therusticgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.